All right, we're back looking at an article from 2016 about the landmark year for Mason Sommer from 1930s, of 1936, the creation of the balanced action saxophone. So it goes on here, 36 flagship year for Mason Sommer, creation of saxophone balance action and the success of the Sommer Jazz McCaffrey guitar. Look through old documents, let's take a look, look at this one here. Just the top apparently. And we have a really nice picture here. Clarinets, flutes, bassoons, saxophones, cornets, bugles, trumpets, etc. Look at that. You see the summer silver plated clarinet in the background there. Big bass saxophone. So it goes on, says it's a 48 page document with the company's founder, Henry Selmer, born in 19, born in 1858, passed away in 1941. Let's take a look at this. Look at that. <clears throat> There's another article we're we'll looking at the origins of the Selmer factory. There's a video here. I'll put the link of this video down in the description so you can actually see these YouTube videos here. So, in this catalog, they have the radio improved saxophones, which were sold up through 1936 and especially developed for the recordings of discs and on the radio. Hmm. So manufactured 1934-35, serial numbers 1871 through 21750, part like the cigar cutter, which was manufactured from 31 to 39, serial numbers 140, I mean 14,000 to 28,000. Of the Super Saxony Summer Series marked SSS. Interesting. Here's another picture here. See saxophones up on the wall, windows. No lights, I assume these vertical sections here are windows up there too. Interesting. We'll have to review what they're doing in each station at some point. That was a page from 36 Selmer catalog. This one is models of the SSS series manufactured before 1936. You will see the inline palm keys or the inline rod of the palm keys, the inline tone holes also on the soprano. Alto and tenor, nothing complex, simple key work. The larger baritone and bass saxophones. Next, we have a radio improved from 1934. You can see the differences with the saxons, which was succeeded, guards of the keys, link or the brace between the bell and body and the block left hand table keys. Let's bring this to a bigger image. Nice tenon up there, kind of flares at the top. You know, it's the old register key. This is more 
kind of like the newer one, but it's more vertical instead of horizontal. It moves the linkages on the bottom, a little bit more clunkier and slower. I have the old design table keys you see mostly in US horns at that time and continued for a long time. Here we go, balance action released in 1936. The model was considered the first modern saxophone redesigned key work. And it gives it a perfect balance, hence its name balance action. The larger board instrument and the larger diameter of the bell gave it a sound recognized by the greatest jazzman of the time. In 34, Coleman Hawkins and toured Europe cross paths with Henry Salmer and saxophones, and he immediately adopted the balance action tenor that he played practically throughout his entire career. Interesting information. The great musicians well known for his famous recording of the Body and Soul, made in October 11, 1939. And I, I remember playing these, um, they're really nice. Top and bottom stack are in line. The SPA, they shifted the lower stack to the side. At the last sale of Vichy Musical Instruments, December 10th, four copies of the Balance Action were offered, three tenors, one alto, as well as an SBA tenor and Mark VI. I guess these are pictures of it. The key work down here definitely has changed more modern instruments. Nowadays, they try to keep these posts the same size. The B and B flat guards are distinct. And they're separate, basically. And we know with the early SBAs, they, they were separate also. They merged into one guard. Group of spatulas redesigned left and Hand for the little finger. This point will be reviewed during the introduction to each model. Cigar cutter super balance six, seven. If you notice here, all these support arms are straight, and each um, rod has its own pivot point ball head here, and they're all, all offset. Later on, they come straight and they start bending the arms there. Oh, look at this little design over here. Interesting. B.A. Summer Tenor from 1944. New fixing between the flag and the tube. So this is basically the bell to body brace is what they're saying here. Type of binding would be equipped the SBA and Mark VI, which is one post on each bell and body. And the Mark VII with the three-point binding or you know, the Mark 7 has on the body tube, it has two positions for bracing and one to the bell. This is a BA summer from 1947. The BA was often two versions, the Longhorn, which gave it a more intonation, but more difficult to control. And with a short horn, which was easier in the emissions, but which had problems with intonation in the bass. I never knew that. The high F sharp is offered for the first time as the option and therefore extends the range of the instrument. Now look at this image here. There you go. Look at all the belt driven equipment. So basically, they're using steam generation at some point. And you, look, you can see all the windows at the top of the factory. So there's no electricity yet for lights. Pretty awesome. Has information here, characteristics, which I don't speak French. The symmetry of the basic neck octave key and position of the, I guess the emblem up front, giving an additional brace in front of the tube. They have down here, let's see, right hand keys with a little finger in the new shape. I guess the shape of the side keys. 
the new right pinky table keys. 1945. During the Second World War, Selmer encountered problems with the supply of brass and mother of pearl for special buttons, which would be replaced by black bake light. According to Selmer's site, some balance action instruments would have different numbers on the bell and body. It is necessary to push the number of the building to the known year. Here is black here. Here is the balanced action, 1936 picture of an alto. Notice a metal mouthpiece. Here it had a little front F key. Interesting. Continuing on, all the key guards are redesigned. Guards redesigned will be kept with the following models. So this looks at the tenor and baritone. Any questions or comments, please put them down below. You'll see the table keys off here. These are all offset. And this keeps a particular angle of the table keys to the hand. Everyone is different. Some people like it one way, some people like it another way. You'll see the key guard here for the C sharp it is just a prevent knocking, not a full covering guard like we have before or on the berry. A few things carry over balance action from pre 36 models to the SBA and Mark VI the thumb plate and the octave key. That's right. This is one of those mechanisms here that um, some are really improved on. See the tiny thumb rest? <laughs> we all know about thumb rest, right? Replace as soon as the SPA Mark VI models appear much larger thumb rests. <clears throat> of course, we had improvements in the key work. Uh, well, these older BA, SBA, Mark VI models. So a little, you, little, you have this little arm here, which helps push that down. This is the B key on the bell, and this is the C sharp key on the bow. Same type of design up here with the F and F sharp key. Later on, you'll have this little post with adjusters on both sides and a little bit better. Saxophone was a great success among jazz saxophonists of the time. The Second World Black ex Expansion. Between 36 and 47, 14,000 saxophones are made. Gerard Badini, I have an article from him earlier during his interview with Jose Daniel Turod, which is the article that I have, um, talks about stuff. During the first years, Mark VI model around 54, musicians didn't want to give up their old, good old balance to replace with any Mark VI. And the biggest difference is the balance action had straight tone holes in a certain feel, whereas the Mark VI, or the SBA introduced it, but the Mark VI had the offset lower stack. So it just felt completely differently. And if you're used to playing your entire career, one particular horn, one particular type of design of horn, switching to one that's that vastly different you know, you can just not like playing it. Coleman Hawkins played from 3654 in BA and went to a Mark VI. Here's the serial number list and an SBA serial number list. And that's what we have today about primarily the Selmer balance action and the Selmer guitar. Who knew? Anyways, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Mm -hmm.